Hi 180 kids, boys and girls. Miss Samantha here and I'm so excited to be with you today. Are you ready for some fun? I know I am. We're going to have worship and learn from God's word together. But first, I need you to repeat after me. DJ, drop the beat. Are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. DJ, drop the beat. You're a good, good father It's who you are It's 
worship was so much fun. Did you have fun worshiping? I know I did. Well, the fun's going to continue as we dive into God's Word together. Today's story comes from John chapter 10, and we learn about Jesus being the Good Shepherd. Do you know what a shepherd is? Or what he does? A shepherd takes care of animals, provides for them, and even protects them. Well, today we're going to learn about how Jesus is a Good Shepherd. Let's take a listen. Jesus told a story to the Jewish leaders. If a person climbs into a sheep pen, he is not the shepherd, he is a thief. A shepherd enters the pen through the gate. When the sheep hear the shepherd's voice, they recognize him and follow him. A shepherd calls his sheep by name and he leads them. If the sheep hear the voice of a stranger, they will run away. The people did not understand Jesus' story. Jesus was talking about God's people as sheep. The Jewish leaders were the stranger, and Jesus is the shepherd. Jesus said, I am the gate for the sheep. They come in through me and are saved. Jesus was saying that he is the gate that leads to true life. People who come to him are like sheep who come to green pastures. Jesus warned, a thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. Jesus was talking about the devil, who does not want people to follow God. Jesus said, I have come so that they may have life. I am the good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep, Jesus said. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. Like a shepherd risked his own life to protect his sheep from wolves, Jesus was willing to die for his people. Jesus came to do his Father's plan, and he was going to die and rise again. The Jews argued with one another. Many said, don't listen to him. He has a demon. He's crazy. Others said, that's not true. How can a demon give sight to the blind? The Jewish leaders asked Jesus, are you really the Messiah? Just tell us. Jesus answered, I did tell you. But you did not believe because you are not my sheep. My miracles prove who I am. Jesus reminded them that he is the good shepherd. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. The Father and I are one. Jesus is the Good Shepherd. God sent him to rescue sinners. Jesus laid down his life for his sheep so they could have forgiveness and eternal life. When we trust in Jesus, we are his sheep who listen to, follow, and obey him. Wow, what a story! Jesus, the Good Shepherd, because he cares for us. Boys and girls, sheep, follow their shepherd because they know his voice. We too can learn to follow Jesus, but we have to learn his voice. Do you know how to learn his voice? I do. We learn Jesus' voice by spending time with him in his word, in worship, and even just sitting in his presence. Can we do that this week? Spend time with Jesus? I think so. So Lord, I just thank you for this time. I thank you for your presence. I thank you that like sheep, oh God, who learn their shepherd's voice, so oh God, we can learn your voice when we spend time with you. So Lord, help us to spend time with you, Lord, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks so much for joining us, boys and girls. To continue the fun, tell your parents to follow 180 Chicago on all social media platforms. And I'll see you there to continue the fun. See you soon!